We got one of our sisters out in Idaho and she want to give reasons why she need to leave that particular state. Let's go ahead and roll that. So reason 5001 why I can't live in Idaho for the rest of my life. I am literally just walking for my lunchtime walk and this guy rides his bike by me and goes, and then keeps riding. Something I have taught black people, you know, constantly, I want to beat that in your head. Whatever state or even city you're moving to, you need to look at the racial demographics of that particular city and definitely the state. I've always said that in a city, if you could find at least 10%, preferably 20 to 25% of the city that have black residents, I think that's a good place for you to be. But in the state of Idaho, it is 92% white and 0.9% black. That is not the place that a black person should be. I've also told you many times before, the more they have of them folks, the more you're going to deal with the white supremacist. They get very emboldened when it's more of them. You understand what I'm saying? Not to say all of them are that way, but you have, when the more you have, the more reasons you're going to possibly run into some of the white supremacists. So this sister's doing a walk and one of them passed by and says, you know, effing N word to this sister. That is dangerous. And I believe this black woman should go ahead and come on home. Coming home in America is coming home to the South. Is a many black people in the South. You know, many black people have been coming to Houston. Many have been going to Atlanta. Black people have been going to Charlotte. You know, just to name a few cities that black people have been really, you know, coming to. I've heard some people in the comments say, Phil, don't keep telling people to come to Houston. Don't keep telling people to come to Atlanta. We full, man. Look, that's your family. Y'all figure that out. Just like they coming to Houston. I saw a video the other day. It's such to say a lot of people from Chicago have been coming down here to Houston. Hey, I welcome all black people to come on. Shoot, let's get the city 50% black. The Houston Metroplex, let's get that 50% black. Come on, everybody can come on. Now, Pookie and Ray Ray, you stay where you at. I don't want you. But I'm talking about the, the good black people, the gainfully employed black people, black people that got that want to build and got some act right. Come on, you can come on down to the Houston area. We definitely want you here. We definitely need, we need you here. You know what I'm saying? No, no problem. If they're not treating you right in your city. I know a lot of the people coming from California, a lot of brothers and sisters saying, Man, I'm done with all this mess going on, especially LA and San Francisco. Let me come on down back home to the South. They, they've been calling that the, 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 the reverse uh, migration back home to the South. This, this is where our people built even America. America's wealth came from the South. It didn't come from the West. It didn't come from the North and all the other states it came from the South, go all the way up to the East coast where our people have been at all these years. So yes, yeah, sister, like I said, that, ooh, uh, uh, I, me, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot be in places like that because I just know how I am. I know how I'm going to react. And you know, people like that, you got them police that's on their side with that. And you will come up missing somewhere and the police will help them do it. So yes, yeah, sister, please, you get, you got a skill or whatever, get yourself out of Idaho and come on to the South. But y'all let me know what y'all think, you know, about this. Just remember, if the demographics are under 10% of a definitely in a state for sure, or definitely a particular city, don't be there. We need double digit uh, demographics to live anywhere.